In this video, we're looking at the Sony FDR-AX53 Handycam. It is a UHD 4K video camera introduced back in 2016. You can still buy it brand new today, 2023. We won't be doing an unboxing as that was already covered in a prior video. We also have done a very comprehensive video that covers everything on this camera. We even did a video on the Sony adjustment ring and all its many modes. In this video, we're going to cover all the icons that are on the LCD. We're also going to show you how to format your SD card so you can shoot. And finally, how to import your media. Each time the A53 is powered up, the LCD display briefly shows us the status of the unit before switching to a more simplified display. Exploring the more detailed page, we see that starting top dead center, we have a standby mode that lets you know that the camera is not recording. To the left of that is a menu button. And because it's shadowed, that means you can actually touch it and step into the menus of the camera. Below that, we see 4K. So the camera is set for 4K shooting. To the right of that is the letter N. That is for near field communications. There's also Wi-Fi that's available so you can communicate with other devices. Coming down, we see that the steady shot is in standard mode. There's also active mode and off mode. Going down, we see a palette that's in the off mode. That means there's no electronic colorization or effects being applied to the image. To the right of that, we see that our adjustment ring is in the zoom mode. And finally, at the bottom is the play function that is also a touch feature and allows you playback access to everything that's been recorded. Going over to the top right hand side, we see a counter indicating either time code or time elapse of shot footage. Below that is how much time is left on your storage card. We see that we are shooting in 4K, 30 frames progressive, and the bit rate is at 60. And below that, we see that we are storing onto the SD card. Continuing downwards, the mode we're in is the movie mode. The other mode would be photo mode. And below that is the indication either for the two channel recording or five channel surround sound. And you would see level indications along each of those axes. And finally, on the lower right hand side is iAuto or Intelligent Auto. And that's where the camera can decide on the best settings for the subject that's being shot. Going to the simplified mode, we see we have a choice of accessing the menu. We can touch to go wide, touch to zoom in with the telephoto, or to record or stop record with the red button. Before any images can be acquired with this camera, you'll need an SD card. Make sure it is the right type of card for HD, you'll need to look for the 3 and 10 symbols. And to insert this card, we simply slide open the door. The corner that's cut will face down and it'll slide in. And then you'll give it a slight push and it'll stay in there. Make sure to close the door. While the card we inserted is brand new, if you're repurposing a card, then you wanna make sure you go into Menu, Setup, Format, Memory Card, and then it'll ask Execute. All the data will be deleted when format is processed. And it tells you that it's gonna take about 13 seconds so if it's a card that you're repurposing, make sure there's nothing on it that you want, and then proceed. Once it's done, you get a completed message. Hit OK, X, X, and you are ready to record. Once you're done videotaping, there are two ways of getting your files into a computer. One 
you physically remove the SD card, insert the SD card into a card reader. The second method is to use the provided USB to micro cable. Open the side door, plug in your cable, and then insert the short end of this cable into your computer. Regardless of the method you choose for importing your files, you'll get a Windows Explorer. Inside there you'll see the card, you can open up the card, and now you have to figure out which folder it's in, or you could just use Play Memories Home, which is available free from Sony, and that program actually lets you just import the media that you need. And it imports it at a much faster speed than you can through Windows. Once on your computer, you can move them into your favorite editing software. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.